Hey, hey, hey. Sunday morning. Time to focus our energy for the week. Come on in and join me, Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in and join me for a few moments, few minutes. We're gonna focus our energy. We're gonna talk about what's happening astrologically this week and how you can best align your energies. Come on in and join me. Yes, lots of energy building this week as we head into the full moon on Thursday. We're in that second phase of the moon, building lots of light and lots of energy. What are you noticing for you? Post below, how's the summer already starting off? Do you feel that fire energy? Is it a lot? Good morning, Linnell. Linnell, I gotta come see you. How is everything going on with the store? Yes. So how is everybody doing out there? What are you waking up to today? How has the first week of summer been for you? Like I said, can you feel that fire? Definitely post below and let me know what's going on. Working with the shaman cards this morning, they're so beautiful. They have so many messages for us. I love them and love them the more I work with them. So come on in and I'll pick some cards for you as well as talk about what is going on. So I'm gonna share this out. If you'll do the same, just hit that share button, so easy. Share it for somebody else that may need this in their life as well. A little inspiration, a little pick me up of energy. That's what we need to do. Pick up our energy and align with the cosmos. So important, right? Definitely, as we move into this new season, it offers us that opportunity to really start again. That's how I like to look at it. And that's kind of what this energy for this week is about, looking and reflecting. A lot of planets in retrograde, so that helps us to slow down. It helps us to really kind of look back at what it is we're going on. All right, let me share this into the group. If you haven't come over to the Empowered Spirit group, come on over and join us. Fun things go on, comments and postings, all of that kind of thing. All right, Empowered Spirit. Here we go. Yay, okay, here I am. All right, so what we're doing this week is really noticing the energy and a lot of reflection time. When we come into the summer, I know we all wanna feel like, oh, I'm outside, I'm going, I'm going. But really summer can allow us to kinda of kick back those heels, find that hammock, get on a raft, and really kinda of relax into the energy. That's really what's important as we move into summer. And with this retrograde, we have so many retrograde planets going on right now, and it allows us the chance to reflect. So the energy right now that's building is really asking you to kind of reflect back to the beginning of the year. Like, what did you set out? What are you trying to do? And really see like what's working, what's not. What are the challenges in your life? And those are the things that you're gonna be really kind of reflecting on because as we move into the full moon this week, we're really gonna be able to kind of come to some resolutions with that, all right? And so it's important to kind of go back, clean up the energy, which is what the change in seasons allow us to do. All right, it really helps you to really kind of move through some of those issues, whatever you wanna call them, that you're moving through and resolve some of the energy to let it go. So the full moon, we're in that second phase of the moon. It comes in on Thursday, the 28th. All right, it's gonna be in Capricorn. All right, so Capricorn is that like that groundedness, that, that um, energy, kind of like the goat, right? Like the goats, they can jump and they can land. I know my friend Jennifer knows this. They can land anywhere, like on those precarious places and still be grounded. And that's kind of what the energy is for you too. Where can you ground your energy? Even if you feel like, oh, this is a little tenuous or I'm not really sure of my footing, still grounding in and taking that opportunity to jump to new heights. That's a lot of what this energy is about. So as you release out what's not working, right? As you release out those weeds, if you wanna look at it symbolically, you'll be able to find that new footing. Yes, sometimes we do feel a little off balance, we do, but that's okay because the Capricorn energy is gonna help you to come back to center, come back to feeling grounded, even if your path feels new or different or shaky. That's really kind of what the energy is going for. There's a lot of determination in this energy. So sometimes, I know around the full moon, for me especially, it can feel heavy. It can feel full, right? The light is growing. So we just need to trust. Get out of the mind, all right? I'm saying that to myself as well, but get out of the mind and really feel what is going on for me. Go inward to those senses. What am I hearing? What am I feeling? What am I knowing? What is up for me? And trust, trust what comes in for you, all right? And then you'll find your footing is getting even stronger. All right, so that's kind of the energy that we're looking at this week. It may make you feel a little anxious and may make you feel a little like, God, I just don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't seem like it's working. 
That's just the mind, all right? So we come back to center, we ground even more, and we kind of allow ourselves to push past. We really just kind of move it up. So really, no matter what comes up for you, like don't let yourself get despaired or discouraged or depressed. And I know we can do that. I know that there are moments sometimes I feel that way, but it's okay. Take a breath. Lift the energy up. What is it that's making me feel that way? And when we can shine that light, that's that full moon. When we can shine that light on it, then we can open up to that energy. And maybe you need some crystals to help you with that. So the crystals I've been working with, <laughs> citrine. Citrines are really great for digesting life, for abundance, prosperity. Also carnelian. All right, so a lot of that orange color. Carnelians are also good. Second chakra energy, that passion, that desire. Maybe it's blocked for you. Get you some carnelian. Put them in your pocket. And another really fun one is a tangerine quartz. All right, this is just like fun. This is the one that you want to have just for like, return me to my kid for the summer. Like, let me have fun. Let me walk in the water. Let me go on a creek hike. Let me get my feet wet. Let me jump in the puddles. So a tangerine quartz, they're really pretty, is good for that as well. So get some of these crystals for you and surround them. Put them in your pockets. Wear them. Jewelry even. I have this one on too. Just a lot of that orange, that passion, that carnelian, helping you to work through a little bit of what's going on. Now we also have a Mars going retrograde, all right? Mars, according to Z-Girl, does not like to go retrograde. So we may have a feeling a little bit of that resistance, like, ugh, that push. But that's okay because it's going to actually help to slow down a little bit of the intensity of that full moon by helping you to reflect. And again, that's what's really important. Sometimes we don't really want to reflect back on it. We just want to push it away. But when we can reflect on it, when we can open up to those parts, then we can really move through it. That's all I got to say. Move through it. Sometimes we just have to sit with what it is. And when we do, we can move through it. All right, offer your gratitude. That's exactly what I woke up to this morning, just kind of sitting through processing some energy from this weekend. Just sit through, offer the gratitude for it. Thank you for showing up. When it shows up, you can move it out. All right, so what we persist, <laughs> resist, right? So just kind of let it come up as this full moon comes into light, all right? Get your some crystals. And again, if you haven't cleansed them in a while, full moon is always a great time. You can cleanse them anytime, really. But most people see the moon, they go, oh yeah, the moon. So you can cleanse them and start again, add some of that nice light into it. But now is a time to kind of reflect, move this stuff out of the way. And no, just like that goat, like you can jump on to a higher level in your life. It's time. Yes, I love that energy. All right, so let's just take a moment. Center our energy, sending some out into the universe. Lots of crazy stuff going on out there. So for us light workers, this is our job to keep sending energy out into the universe, to keep sending energy out that way. All right, so wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment. Close your eyes. Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale out. Feel the alignment coming in. Call in your spiritual body. Allow it to align right with your physical body. Bring them together. Inhaling. And exhaling. Dropping that energy all the way down. Ground, ground, ground. Deep into the earth. Inhaling, bringing it back up from the earth, through the body, up into the higher dimensions. And as you exhale, pull it back through the heart, deep into that first chakra, all the way down, deep, deep into the earth. That's how we ground, as if you have roots going deep into the earth. Inhaling, opening up the energy, opening up that vertical channel, and exhale, pulling it back down, deep into the earth. As we call in our masters, our teachers, the archangels, Call in your spirit guide. Ask that it align you for this week, that it offers you guidance, protection, knowledge, light as you move through it. Inhaling and exhaling. Bringing that awareness right into the very center. Pulling your energy in. Calling in all the many parts that you've scattered through the week. Pulling back. Releasing down that excess energy of whoever excess energy you're holding on to. You've gathered a lot during the week. Release it out. Energy follows intention. Send it down. Exhaling away. Feel your centering. As we look to the directions of the medicine wheel, we're in the center now. I mean, we're in the south now. That is the direction of summer, the south, fire. That's where we grow. That's where we learn. That's where we mature. That's where our passions come forward. So we honor all the directions to the south, the west, the north, and the east. Above us, below us. Open your heart. Open your heart to your life, to your passions, to your desires. Inhaling, 
and exhaling, just sending some energy out to the world. Let it surround all of us with peace, with light, with calm, with ease as we open up the season. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel that centering coming in for you. As you go to close one week and start another, know that the energy is building. Know that it's a time of reflection. What can you release and what can you ground into as you jump to those higher planes, those higher levels for your work, for your life as you move through this week? Inhaling. And exhaling, bringing it back. Feels good to calm down. All right, coming back, bringing the awareness back, opening the eyes. All right, so as I go to pull these cards, the one that is universal for us all, I love it, perfect card, water. All right, so yes, I know the element of summer is fire, but water comes in to cool off that fire, right? Water comes in to help us flow the energy, and as we move into that full moon, knowing our emotions is really important. When we don't, they can lose control, and we can exaggerate them into bigger and bigger to more and more. So really allow it to flow. Notice where you're at. If you're feeling sad, feel sad and let it go. If you're feeling joy, feel joy and let it go. Whatever it is, don't try to push. Just allow, just like water. Like imagine that water running down. Sometimes you'll go to the creek and it's moving fast, all right? That's what I notice on my hike. Sometimes it's not moving at all. Where is it for you? Imbalance means that we do want it to flow. So when this card shows up, it's all about letting the energy flow, especially as we move towards that full moon. So that's for all of us. Now, choose one, two, or three. If you didn't pick a card, quickly pick one. All right, so number one, if you chose this, a beautiful card, also about energy and moving, is the spiral. Look how beautiful that is. Now, this card comes up to remind us that let that spiral of life move you forward. All right, so maybe you have been working on your wounds. Maybe you've been working on releasing energy. This comes in to let us know that time to move forward. Time to know that you've done your work, all right? Sometimes we continue and continue and pick and pick. And I know I can be um, part of this. And I know when this card came up for me about a week or so ago, I loved seeing this card come up. It like gave me permission to say, okay, I've done some work. Now let me move it forward. The spiral is that movement. So allow yourself now to go forward, all right? Honor that you've done some work and let it go, and let yourself know that sometimes that raw skin that comes forward when we release and let go can feel a little uncertainty, but allow that to build. As you do, it'll get stronger and stronger for you. So here it is. Go forward, let it go, open up to the newness in your life. Really beautiful card as we move into this full moon. So as you ground that energy, that's how we can do it, right? All right, the second card, number two, if you chose to, is magic. Yay, I love this card. First time I chose this. All right, this card is all about the magic in your life. Remembering that you co-create. Where can you find this magic? Especially as you move through your day. Where can you find those signs? Where can you bring in and be that part that can create that infinite possibility? I know sometimes we get stuck in our path thinking, oh, nothing's going to change. I'm going to have to go through this all the time the same way. But no, look for those new signs. Look for those things around you that can come in to remind you that things are moving exactly as they need to be. Co-create, put it out there. Know that the spirit is always around you, that your guidance is there, just listen to it, and that you can open up and find that infinite potential that is allowing for you to come. Look how pretty she is. Look at the stars in her hair and the moon. Yes, that was the card number two, if that's what you chose. And as you do that, you can keep that flow of energy for you. All right, the third card. Yes, I love this card, the medicine wheel. If y'all know me, I love the medicine wheel. So when we have this card come up for us, look at all that's going on in there. It reminds us to look to all the directions in our life, right? It really does. Look to all those directions. So we're in the south. Notice the energy of the south and that fire element for you. Also, you can then look, okay, well, what's the west about? That's that earth energy. The north is that water energy. Let it flow. What are our dreams and our visions? And the east, that's the air where we dream and build and put it out there into the universe. So when we're in balance, we go through all those directions. We go through all those thoughts. So allow yourself to keep moving through the circle of life and notice where you are and how in the summer energy you can open up to what it is for your own passions and desires. All right, beautiful cards for this week. They're all upright. They're all positive cards for us to open up to the magic, to keep the energy flowing, to allow that cycle of life to come in. Really beautiful cards. So just take an inhale for a moment. 
and see what it is that resonates with you. If you have any questions, post below. If you want me to pick a card just for you, let me know that too. Yeah, this is how we do that. If we bring this energy in, we really do. We allow ourselves to keep moving through. We don't get stuck. Nothing stays the same, right? So we allow ourselves to keep processing our energy, to keep moving through. Really important as we move through this week. So yes, we have that full moon coming in on Thursday. So as you start your week, ground your energy. That's the most important. It can be a productive week for work. All right, that's some of that Capricorn energy building in. Well, we don't get to that till Thursday. So get the work done. Reflect on what it is you need to shift. Reflect on the changes that you need to make. And then open up as we come into that full moon and allow yourself to just to kind of go, wow, full moon, here I am. What can you bring for me? All right, yes, Jessica, I can. Linnell, I can choose a card for you. All right, here we go. This one's for you, Jessica. The Smoky Mirror. I love this card. It is upright. So it's like remove whatever those obstacles are that seem to be in your way that you can't see that true reflection of who you are. You have a lot to give. Look at the crown here. Open up and know that as you clear out whatever it is that's blocking that mirror, that you can reflect out into the world your gifts, your work. All right. I've seen you're out there putting out information. Yes. Continue to do that. Trust, but move away. See how this is here? Like, move away. You have a beautiful reflection, so shine it out. Clean the mirror, so to speak. Don't let it get in your way. Shine that crown chakra. I love that. See that? How beautiful that is. Shine it out into the world. Let the smoke clear, all right? Move that out, and you can help it, right? What do we do when the mirror's dirty? We can help that. So know that you can do that. Just clear it out, and this is a perfect time to do that this week as we move through this full moon energy. Next month... The July moon, oh my God, the July full moon is a huge moon, and we actually have three eclipses coming up. So this is the time right now, this last part of the month, to really clean this up for yourself. But release whatever those reflections are coming back at you that get in your way. That's what this is about, the smoky part. So clear that out and project out into the world. You've got the knowledge, you've got the wisdom, we know that. Pulled the crown chakra last night, yes. So open up to that. You have the knowing and remind yourself of that. Beautiful card for you. All right, Linnell, let's see. Let's go for you. The upper world. All right, but it was reversed, all right? So the upper world, you know what the upper world is about, bringing those messages in. But when it's reversed, the medicine here is to remind you to really trust all right, so I know that your business is just opening. Maybe there's been some challenges. We all have challenges, right? When we go out and do what we want. But trust that spirit's coming in for you as it needs to be. All right, don't get into doubt. Don't get into fear. Turn this card around for you. Open up to the angel world. Open up to all those possibilities. All right, be persistent. All right, I know it can be challenging when we do stuff like that. I'm just trying to help you see the card. Look at that energy. Look at the blues. Look at that upper realm. When it's turned down, it's like we're almost like frustrated. And maybe you've been working so hard. All right, Sunday's a break for you, I imagine, right? So take the time to renew and turn this around. Call in your angels, all right? Angel right now for the summer is Uriel. It's a good angel to remind us for the beauty and the joy and the fun of life. So be sure to open up to that energy for yourself right now, all right? I know... When we own our own businesses, congratulations on opening yours finally, that it can be challenging. But don't forget, spirit's a part of it as well, and bring that energy in for you. All right, I hope that helps for you as well. All right, anybody else out there? Anybody else want a card? All right, so we have some beautiful cards going on. So this week, we have that energy building. I don't have an episode dropping. I'm actually working, starting on Monday, starting a whole new series, talking about the cannabinoid system that we have in our body, the CBD oils, how they can help us spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally. Very excited about that. So I'll be doing a lot of recording in the studio. Be a couple of weeks, but I'll be back on air. In the meantime, catch up on the episodes. Go and find the ones that you haven't seen. All right, join me at Birmingham Yoga Wednesday nights for the Reiki Circle. Come in, practice, or receive restorative yoga too. Back on track with that. We had a great summer solstice last week, so we're a little off schedule, but we are back on track with that. I've got a Reiki 2 coming up in July. If you're ready for that, let me know. All right, guys, focus your energy. Take a deep inhale. Set your intentions out there for this week. Ground, that's the number one thing. Ground like a goat so that you can ground like a goat so that you can jump to higher realms in your own life and your own passions and desires. All right, we are light workers. We need to do our work. We need to help others as well. All right, Jose, I see you popped in there too. 
All right, hey Marissa Jane. All right, here this one's for you, Jose. It was so great to meet you in person on Wednesday. All right, thunder, but it's upside down. All right, so thunder, thunder beings remind us of the disruption in our life sometimes, but this is upside down, and I will be honest, I have not drawn this card. So I'm gonna actually go to the book, and this is how we learn when we have a new deck of oracles. We go to the book. This is what Colette tells us to do. I love the way the, the um, like the sun and the moon and the planets are on top of each other. I really love that, and the clouds come in. So let's check this out for you, Jose, because I like to learn as well. So I'm gonna go to the book, check it out. Number 56, which is an 11, master number. So some master energy for you there. Here we go. So thunder, the essence of the card, speaks to the great thunder beings who live in the sky and call for your attention when great occurrences are meant to happen in the world. All right? They warn when tensions in a situation are called upon to be released. Their presence in your reading reminds you of the dramatic moments in life that change everything. All right, both awesome and frightening when thunder arrives. It is also a wake-up call when you will not soon forget. So when the cards are reversed in this deck, they call it the uh, medicine. So the medicine for you is do not feel like unnecessary drama is waylaying your life. Or do you feel like unnecessary drama is waylaying your life? Are you getting caught in your drama? Could you be exhausted from listening to others tell you their never-ending victim story? Or could you be telling yourself a version of the same? It's time for an about face. Yes, turn this around. You're being warned that there, that to continue on this path will cause you regret in your choices, even if they appear benign or familiar. It's time to say no to drama, both yours and others. Focus on solutions rather than problems. You are worthy of a drama-free life. All right. So, Jose, this is telling you, like, that thunder, that drama, you can release that drama out of your life now. And this is really important. As you move through this week, great opportunity to reflect. Where's the drama? Who are the energy drains in my life? I'm tired of this story. Keep running that, quit running that same story so that you can turn this around and open up to life without all that drama because that is an energy drain in our life. All right, so check in your boundaries. Reflect on what it is that is draining you. Where are you getting caught in that drama of your life? And see if you can release it out this week, especially as we move into that full moon. Let that full moon help shine light on that. All right, I hope that was a help for you. All right. Anybody else out there wanting a card as we move into this week? Full moon coming. Energy is building. All right. All right, I think that's good. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. So much going on out there. Reach out if you need some help. Reach out for a session. Come in. Clean it up. I know for me, got a session last week right at the summer solstice. Got another one coming up. It's really good that we continue to work with our energy body and move out. That's how we grow. That's how we jump. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the light. All right, guys. Have a great week. To your spirit. Namaste.